Wall insulation is a key element of house construction. Given that in the case of single-family housing construction, as much as 40% of heat loss is related to external walls, much can be achieved by their proper insulation. The quality of insulation materials deserves an in-depth evaluation. It is not worth saving on a specialised construction team. Performing proper building insulation is not a task for everyone. At this stage of construction work, it is easy to make performance errors which will be several times more expensive to eliminate in the future. The results of well-performed construction work will be appreciated already after the first heating season. Reduction of heating costs by up to 30% is a good reason to treat insulation as a good investment, especially considering the fact that properly performed building insulation guarantees good technical parameters of the facade and sustainable good-looking effects. The Meisterball company, which has specialised in building insulation for 10 years, created its own set of thermal insulation materials within the ETIC system on the basis of experience gained when working with different construction materials. The set includes primers, adhesive mortars, thin coat plasters, and reinforcing fiberglass mesh. Working on insulation starts with preparation of the walls. The deeply penetrating Meistergrund primer should be applied on dry, clean and well-bounded foundation. Its aim is to improve the surface grip and even the absorption of the surface. Penetrating deep into the wall, the primer will strengthen the foundation and eliminate dusting. The next stage of the preparation is mounting a board lath. The lath mounted over the building base should be carefully levelled and fixed with expansion anchors. This element, which is often overlooked, is of vital importance for proper adhesion of the styrofoam as it facilitates levelling of the first layer of styrofoam boards. In addition, the lath protects the building against pests and rodents. The Stidolipka adhesive mortar is used for mounting styrofoam boards. It is intended for gluing styrofoam onto the inside and outside of buildings. Hence its properties. It is frostproof, waterproof and vapour permeable. It is characterised by flexibility and enhanced adhesion. Having mixed the mortar thoroughly with water, you should wait 5 minutes and then stir the mass again. The Stidolip car becomes ready to use. The mortar is applied by means of the circumference spot method, which involves applying an adhesive strip to the circumference along the edge of the board. Within this frame, 3 to 6 dabs of the mortar should be applied. In this method, the adhesive mass should cover about 40% of the board surface. Performing the process properly is decisive not only in the case of insulation parameters. In the event of fire, tightly glued boards will prevent the fire from spreading to higher parts of the building. It is crucial to continuously monitor and, if necessary, adjust the level of the boards in three planes. In the course of gluing the styrofoam boards, the staggered joints technique should be maintained and, at the same time, the boards should be adjacent to each other as tightly as possible. Respecting these principles will significantly reduce the likelihood of thermal bridges. After the period of at least 12 hours, when the adhesive mortar has already bound, wider gaps between the boards should be filled with foam for even better insulation. Any roughness and height differences between the boards should be sanded. Smooth and even surfaces will reduce material consumption at the later stages of the work. Window and door openings are some of the most critical areas of the building. Errors are common here. While insulating these areas, it is crucial to ensure maximum possible continuity of boards and avoid completing the openings with small pieces of styrofoam. Boards should be mounted in such a way that vertical and horizontal joints do not overlap the edges of the holes. It is extremely important to strengthen the window and the door openings corners with strips of mesh arranged at about 45 degrees. This way, the facade will be protected against cracks or ruptures caused by movements of the building. Special battens combined with the mesh complete the insulation in window openings. They will prevent the formation of thermal bridges protect the window against damage or dirt during plastering works. Moreover, they will permanently and aesthetically connect plaster and woodwork.
The corners constitute another critical point of the building, which demands careful insulation. The staggered arrangement of boards should be applied also in these areas. Once the adhesive mortar has set, the boards can be cut to size and sanded. Also, in this case, the façade should be properly protected against mechanical damage. All corners of the building, as well as the jam edges, should be strengthened with the angles, with reinforcing mesh immersed in the adhesive mortar. It is also the last moment to perform fluting in the façade, that is, to prepare the rustication of strips. Decorative battens might be mounted on the building corners and along the walls emphasising values of the façade. Flutes are cut in the styrofoam before mounting an angle with mesh. Aluminium or plastic profiles, fastened with a connector, are placed in the flutes. The batten edges should be immersed in the adhesive on a similar basis as the reinforcing mesh. After placing the batten in the styrofoam, the batten edges should be immersed in the first layer of the adhesive and then spackled with adhesive mortar. Once the adhesive has set, the corner of the building can be protected with a properly adjusted angle with mesh and then the subsequent work on creating the reinforcing layer can be initiated. Performing the insulation layer of the building has already been completed. It is time to summarise the work that has been carried out so far. Prior to the commencement of insulation works, the walls of the building were primed with the deeply penetrating Meistergrund primer. Then, a board lath was mounted. It facilitates fixing of the boards and protects the building against damage. The styrofoam boards were fixed with the Stilolip car adhesive mortar. In accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations, the adhesive was applied by means of a circumference spot method, which guarantees proper insulation and security of the insulation layer. Eventually, critical points of the façade, such as window and door openings and corners, were provided with thermal insulation. These areas were also protected against mechanical damage. Decorative profiles were mounted in the insulation layer, and thus the façade was prepared for applying rustication strips. In the next episode, we will present works on strengthening and finishing the façade. We will demonstrate two ways of studding of walls and creating the reinforcing layer. We will also show the process of applying a thin coat plaster and works connected with finishing of rustication strips.